scary just because so many things could happen to small children from this. Families sickened and hospitalized all from a salmonella outbreak. The Kenosha County Health Department tells 12 News there are more than 20 cases of the foodborne illness. All of the families we spoke to say they had one thing in common. They ate meat from the same store. 12 News, Christina Palladino is live in Kenosha at the Health Department. And Christina, a lot of these families got very, very sick. Yeah, we talked with several families who say they were so sick they had to be hospitalized. One man thought he was going to die. Here at the Kenosha County Health Department, they've had a few cases come back positive for salmonella poisoning, but they're waiting on many more. Amanda Acosta's two young daughters are slowly getting their strength back after being hospitalized for almost a week with salmonella poisoning. She and her boyfriend say they ordered pork carnitas from Los Corrales supermarket on Mother's Day. The next day, they were all extremely ill. We all had fevers, and then it lasted all week, and then we went to the hospital with the kids and stuff like that because nothing got better, and it just got pretty bad. Acosta and her boyfriend both had to take a week off from work to care for their sick kids who were violently throwing up and had diarrhea. It's scary just because so many things could happen to small children from this. The Kenosha County Health Department is investigating salmonella contamination at the popular Mexican grocery store. This picture shows the meat counter completely empty Monday evening. 12 News reached out to the owners but did not hear back from them. Michael Brown tells me he also had the pork carnitas on Mother's Day with his family. They all got sick too the next day. He was deathly ill for a week. I had one kidney and it was uh, elevated or something. It was a very dangerous high, he said. Now, both families say they've shopped at that store for years and have never had a problem. County health workers here, they're waiting to hear back from those stool samples that will be back soon in a few days. In the meantime, they closed down the meat counter at the store indefinitely. We're live in Kenosha tonight. Christina Palladino, WISN 12 News.